Hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today I want to check out the stance for our newest melee weapon type, the Warfans, called Slicing Feathers, which is described as a stance that has twirling acrobatic slashes with a refined touch, and it has a dash polarity which matches the Gunsen, which at the moment are the only Warfans in the game. So the first combo is called Razor Fin, and this is your standard button mash, though there is a bit of fanciness at the end. The combo starts off with a quick double strike that will hit all enemies in a cone in front of you. This is followed up by a downward strike that will hit enemies behind and in front of you and if you align yourself correctly you can actually hit headshots. And then comes the fancy finale of fabulousness, so you will spin in the air hitting enemies in front and behind you multiple times, do a downward cut and finish it off with this. <laughs> now that is fancy. The second combo is called Cutting Fringe and to execute this one you simply have to run forward while mashing the melee button. And this one starts off once again with a quick double strike that will hit all enemies in a cone in front of you. You will then bring the fans to your left and do another swipe from left to right which once again hits all enemies in a cone in front of you and that's followed up with sort of an uppercut. Then comes a single strike where you cross the fans and swing them to the side and this once again hits all enemies in a cone in front of you but this time the cone is much wider. Then comes a double strike where the first hit hits all enemies around you and the second hit swipes enemies in a cone in front of you. You will then do sort of a quick stab with the right war fan and finish it off by throwing it forward. Now the Warfan doesn't fly too far away from you, but it does seem to hit enemies that it comes in contact with multiple times. And of course, let's not forget about a bit of fancy at the end. Now one thing that I find particularly awesome about this stance, and it's pretty obvious in this clip especially, is the footwork of the frame. There is almost no sliding around like you see with other stances. The Warframe actually takes believable steps, and it even looks like it's transferring weight from one leg to another, and this pleases my inner weapon nerd. The third combo is called Scathing Plume, and this one is really easy to do. Just hold the block button while mashing the melee button. Now this one starts off once again with a quick double strike that hits all enemies in a cone in front of you. But this time around it's followed up by a triple strike, so here's the first hit, here's the second hit and finally... Kaboom, there's the third one. Then comes a double strike where the first hit is sort of a stab forward but it does seem to hit enemies to the left of you as well and it's followed up by an uppercut. You will then do a spinning kick and then comes this. That is the smoothest and best looking flip animation in the game. Look at it, just, just look at it. And the fourth and final combo is called Serrated Crest and to execute this one you have to pause after the first attack. And it starts off once again with a quick double strike that will hit all enemies in a cone in front of you. And it's followed up by a very swift double strike where the left warfan does damage a little bit before the right one. Now this is followed up by spinning around and doing a downward cut with the right warfan and I don't think the left warfan is actually doing damage here. Then comes a little bit of flailing that definitely does damage, I'm just not quite sure how and you follow that up by a swift downward strike that can hit headshots if you align it properly. You will then turn around and do what looks like a stab at normal speed but when you slow it down it's actually a swipe that reaches a little bit to the right and you will finish it off with a kick. A fancy kick, of course. This is without a doubt one of the fanciest kicks that I have ever seen in my life. It's also really fast, even in slow motion. Now the slide attack is pretty standard, though it does seem really fast, it kind of feels like you're coptering forward. Then there is the air attack, which I think is actually the same air attack that we have on Tonfas, and then there is the slam, which is pretty standard. Now the quick attack is actually the entire button mash combo, all three hits, so that's pretty cool. And the charge attack is once again pretty standard, it's a two stage attack that you just charge up and do a crap ton of damage. Now the stance drops on the new Grenier Ghouls and I'm not sure if it's just one of them or all of them, I just got it randomly while I was doing the bounties and even though it's using a golden mod card it is not that rare, I only did like 10 or 15 of the bounties and I already have 3 of them. 
Now as far as the performance goes, it is pretty damn good. Most of the combos have some kind of a knockdown and there is even sort of a launching ragdoll which is pretty funny, so you can get a lot of ground finishers in there. And I unfortunately have no idea if there are any guaranteed procs because the Gunsen have pretty high status, so it's really hard to tell. But overall the stun seems really strong, especially if you're good at ground finishers. So, is this a worthy addition to our already humongous arsenal of melee weapons? Yes it is. This stance is really, really cool. I particularly like the quick attack combo and the fact that it's the full button mash combo, especially since it has a knockdown. And the stance overall is just really fun to use. The combos are intuitive, the pulse combo isn't too bad, the timing is fairly generous so it's easy to pull off even in the middle of a fight. A lot of the combos allow you to sprint while you're performing them, which is always a plus because that gives you a ton of mobility, especially if you have some sprint speed on your frame. And it just looks damn fabulous, which of course adds to the fun because, you know, it's one thing to just blend a bunch of things with a melee weapon, but it's another to look fancy as hell while you're doing it. So I guess you could say that I'm a, hmm, a pretty big fan of the stunts. Oh my god, that was so bad. So yes, I would very much recommend you go out and grind some ghouls to get this stance because it is a ton of fun. And by the way, the guns and war fans, pretty strong as well. And that's pretty much it for the video. So I thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.